pollen and mold and animal dander, dust mites that we have studied, the cat dander is absolutely the smallest dander. And what that means is that allergen remains airborne for at least 30 minutes after you disturb it in the room. That just allows the allergic patient to have a constant exposure to that allergen. I recommend that the cat not be allowed to walk or to sleep in the bedroom. The door should be kept closed at all times. We then talk about that ideal situation where the cat has its private room, a small room with a separate air conditioning unit where it lives most of the time. It sleeps there, it has the litter box there, and that really significantly reduces the exposure of dander throughout the air conditioning system which then is delivered to the entire house. The other things that can be done is to prevent the collection of cat dander. And we do that by starting with a hard surface flooring such as wood or tile, not that fluffy carpet that collects the dander. We also encourage leather furniture rather than overstuffed furniture or drapes. Again, they love to catch the animal cat dander. So make all the changes in your environment that you can to reduce contact with cat allergens. Beyond that, we then start to use medications for symptomatic management. We may use either oral or topical antihistamines for the nose. We may use eye drops for the eyes. And if the symptoms are asthma, we may need to use inhalers, either rescue or controller, to control the symptoms. Unfortunately, all of those methods of treatment in terms of medications are temporary they will not cure the allergy to the cat. There is no way to absolutely cure the allergy.